Now this is a nice spirit. Fire it up. Contact. Listen to that. That's Rolls Royce. And the difference is it's only done 300 miles. So those silly little pipes in the back with the exhaust that's supposed to expand and make a fit, they probably are actually expanding and making a fit. And um, she is a peach. Now we all know where it's going and it's a big shame, but it'll do someone a lot of good. Now, uh, those smoke discharges are coming off. Basically, it's better than most of them that are going, but when they say, oh, this is a bit rough, I say, yeah, but look at that one. That ain't, that's like new. And all in all, it's gonna be the rough with the smooth, which is what um, Ash's girlfriend is quite familiar with now. So if there's anyone out there who wants smoke dischargers, a Pioneer kit, anything, sand channels, the radios in the back of a ferret, the helmets, the intercom, all that kind of stuff, all that clobber, we have got a great big stack of it. And we're just stacking it up. I don't know what to do with it. I haven't really got time to eBay it. Hey, Kate could eBay it. Who knows? And then Robert over here, he's stripping this Land Rover of all it's got and um, it's a bit sad so if there's anyone out there who wants perfect matting we're your boys we've got it laying around Are you having a good time there Robert he's all right well I won't, I won't say that word oh it's yellow underneath we haven't seen that before have we this wasn't one of our owl resprays looks a very nice vehicle actually one of them's even got a reversing camera in it it might be this one we were thinking about keeping one back. Oh yeah, it has, look at that, look. it's even got a reversing camera. I can't remember where it came from, but it's a bloody nice one. Yeah, somebody loved it. All sorts of goodies in there with a the center console. Yeah, I wonder who sold us this one. Well, I've got a stick one here. Well, I'm here in Tank City, and there's a lot of tanks. Lots and lots and lots of tanks. And I'm happy when I'm looking at lots of tanks. And it's nice to get the opportunity to, um, to do it, because, you know, there ain't many countries where you can go along and buy all their old armour. And some of this armour, it ain't quite so old. I mean, I'm looking at the condition, like that one there. That's quite peachy. Quite peachy indeed. And that one there, that's quite peachy indeed. Now I'm going to start going around a few of them and uh, having a closer look and squeeze. I can squeeze between. Oh look, there's an ambulance one over there. Now that could be handy. A lot of people would like an ambulance one at the moment. Yeah. They're quite looked after to me. Not too bad at all. People uh, who were serving these vehicles, they, they I mean, basically it's a life support vehicle isn't it really and, and you do you do love your vehicle a bit scruffy inside this one I think this is what they call patina a bit of patina uh, yeah 
Is that some, um, that's a bit, uh, oh, that must be some sort of map of perhaps Afghanistan or something. And then these, that, those wiggly bits down there, they're probably, um, oh, I don't know, rail, railroad or something like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, patina. Yeah, good patina. Um, in something like this, yeah, you do the seats and clean it up a little bit and um, and bosh, it'd be quite nice. Anyway, I suppose I better get get to work now and check these vehicles out properly. Now there's 371 of them, but uh, it won't take me long, I'm quick like that. I'll just jump from one to the other like Spider-Man and use my spidey senses to decide whether or not they're uh, fantastic or a pile of old crap. Because sometimes it's very easy to buy a pile of old crap. I'm thinking off-road camper. It's big. It's six-wheel drive. And the bit I love is when you go up here, like, you get to sit in the middle. Hey, how cool is that? You're in the middle. All vehicles should be driven from the middle. And then that way, if you take it to France, well, it's not a problem, is it? You're sitting in the middle, get used to the, the sheer size of it. Now, if I just had my lorry driver ring up, so he thinks he's having a heart attack, that could be a problem for me little tank, for me little boy. Could be a problem for poor old Ted as well. I gave him the advice of lots of coughing. And apparently that does you the world of good. Cough, 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 cough. And it, um, I don't know what it does, but it does something. I don't know what this is, this looks important. This is where it sprays the foam at the front. So, do I want to go overland campering? I don't know. I don't know if I do, but I love the idea of people sitting either side of me. That would be cool. And you could have all these seats out over here and have like seats. Well, it seats a lot of people in the cab anyway. Yes, might be worth thinking about. These look like fun. I'm not quite sure what they are. They're either skips, they go on the back of some great big hook loader, or they're boats. I don't really know. Or they could be a floating pontoon. I think that's a floating pontoon. And I bet they cost a million pounds. And they'll probably go for scrap. What a bummer. Well, this is a bit, long, a bit more like it. But these four wheel ones, I mean, I'm sure they're a good bit of kit, but they haven't got a lot of size to them. They look big and they look heavy, but they don't look like you get a lot of camper on them. Whether you could kind of extend the back out another four or five feet, but as far as me getting a sports car underneath it, I can't see that happening, to be honest. Um, yeah, maybe not the best choice for an overland camper. Maybe they'd be best left as fire tenders and spray foam over people just for the fun of it. Yeah, hard to know. We've not had one of these in here before. Now we bought some and we put them up the field and forgot about them. And uh, we've got to get, I, I'm reckoning we've got to get Royal Air Force off it before it goes to um, Ukraine. And maybe that Neck Aspira Terent, which probably means something quite rude. It's put on by some soldier bloke just for a laugh. But we're just gonna, I don't think it wants to be, I think we're gonna keep it that color. I think it would be a shame to um, change the color. Now all these are looking pretty brown. Um, some of the glass isn't any good, and we've ordered all this glass and we're still waiting for it. And one of the lads had a great idea, why not swap doors from one to, one to another? So out of all the, all the snatches, we've got a few ready to go. And that's what's happening, they've been swapping the doors. But um, I've never had, how many have we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, paint seven vehicles all at once. Oh, eight because there's a ferret over there as well. Who's that? I haven't seen him for a long while. Thought he was dead. Yes, there's a lot of vehicles all being painted at the same time, all in poo brown. The thing is, you're bound to get a bit of paint on your hands, and I expect after last night, all be blokes are walking around with poo hand, poo hand coloured hands. It's getting there. It's getting there. Did we paint the spare wheels so they can go back on? Yeah. Did you? Ooh, how clever is that, eh? Yes, it's all looking very busy. Our little workshop is stacked out. 
Yes, apparently um, they want to pick up as soon as possible, but they're sending two lorries, and we were supposed to get at least six people, things ready for this weekend when they're picking them up, and we've got 12, so um, they can take the pick, really. And then they're sending engineers over to um, have a poke about and see if everything works. Um, I know one's got a headlight work, not working. Well, when are you going to use a headlight? You ain't, are you? You're going to have a convoy button, turn it on so none of the lights work. So they might be over picky with that, just for a laugh. 